All right, what we got here is an inner pack high force ram model number RC151. For this cylinder here, you will need seal kit RC15K1. All right, and we're gonna do a uh, reseal on this. All right, for starters, we're gonna take this uh, coupler out. We'll drain the oil out of the cylinder. Inside is a screw right there. We gotta take that out. That is holding spring tension on the uh, rod. Okay, in order to remove this, we need this tool and a uh, standard screwdriver. So this is gonna go in the cylinder right here on the top side into the top of the spring. Push it in and turn. Now what that does is it brings that spring down. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's hard to tell, but it allows us put our screwdriver in and take that screw out. Okay, screws loose. All right, screw is out. Next, we just take, rotate that back, and then we pull it out. Now we want to remove this top protector, and then we'll be taking the uh, gland out. Now we're going to take our spanner wrench and take the uh, top gland out. These are usually <clears throat> not too tight. Get that hand loose there and basically turn that out. That's all there is to these. Now it's just a matter of getting all this stuff off. Well, there's the problem. That piston seal is already just falling apart. Go ahead and get that thing off there. Okay, go ahead and get that piston seal off of there. Get this retaining ring off. Take that retaining ring off there. All right, we got that all there uh, to that part. Go ahead and pull that off. There's our pieces. Now I'm going to go clean this up a little bit with the wire brush and put it back together. Okay, so we're back. We're going to take our wiper out here. Okay, wiper's out. Okay, grab our new one. We're going to install it. It only goes in one way. This uh, On this profile, the bevel is, or the lip is facing up. So put that in the groove right there and put that back on over the rod. All right, next we'll put these on. Then we'll put our spacer or our backing plate or whatever you want to call it on. Uh, then we'll put our U-cup on. Or our piston seal bevel goes towards the bottom <clears throat> that just pushes on like that then our retaining ring and that goes on okay and that goes on like that make sure it's seated all the way around and that's that and that's basically all there is to reseal on one of these little inner pack ramps Okay, so next is the re next is the reassembly. As long as the bore looks good, you're ready to go back together. If it needs a little ball hone ran through it or something, cleaned up, do that at this time. Otherwise, it's ready to go back together. Take a little bit of grease. I'll put on the piston seal. Put a little bit in the tube. Make sure that this slot is in line with the port. So when I go down, I can put the screw through the port through this, this part of the spring. So port being here. I'll take that, basically just walk it in and turn that down. Okay, once that's turned, snug it, push this all the way down. We're back to, I see the spring in there. We're going to take our tool, insert as such, and then we're going to turn. Okay, so we got our tool inserted in here. I had some difficulties getting it in. The spring kept wanting to kick out. We got that there, so now we take our screw, drop our screw in. And once it's dropped in, take and start tightening it. Once that's snug, we rotate our tool here and pull that out. And if you can see, our screw is in there with the spring stretched over it. And then it's just a matter of snugging your ring back. Don't over crimp on the outside of the wall. Now well, that's pretty tight already. And then we put our uh, protector back on there. And then it's just a matter of cleaning up these old pipe threads. Okay, you got that clean. We'll take, put some thread paste on here, some pipe dope, whatever you want to call it. It's a PTFE paste. Put that on there and tighten this up. That's it. That's how you reseal an inner pack RC151 
Ram, 15 ton Ram. All right, if you enjoyed that, if you would go down there, consider subscribing, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.